Welcome back to Stoneblock. And um, yeah, we've got to get a few things going. Well, actually, quite a lot of things going this episode. Uh, we're going to get into higher tiers of stuff, essentially. We've got everything now in this system. You'll see I've got two ME drives. I just made one of those and, uh, you know, made some more disks. And we've got six spaces on either side we can use just for symmetry. Symmetry? Symmetry. Yeah, so let's get started. Uh, one thing I wanted to start with is just now that we have cloches up and running, is to get into mystical agriculture. I think that used to be called magic crops or something like that. Presumably someone else took over. And that is to make some seeds. So to do that, we're going to make um, seeds this way, inferium seeds. And if we put them in, well, we should be able to make a few. Can we make a few of the next tier up? Because one of the comments in the last episode was saying, hey, you should probably think about looking at superium, su super, superium, supremium, maybe. <laughs> yeah, supremium armor. So we need a, a fair few bits and pieces of stuff like nether stars. Uh, don't worry about the nether stars for now, but we need to actually get ourselves up to this tier of essence. This is made from the previous tier, made from the previous tier, made from the previous tier made from inferior essence and that gets crafted up into the next tier um what i don't know is is there any way to uh no i guess we can go down but we can't go up by any other method of using an infusion crystal infusion crystals are prosperity shards and inferium and then diamond and they have a certain number of uses okay um i think there's multiple tiers yes yeah, so the master one has unlimited uses but that then takes presumably the, some of the Supremium Essence, yes, which we have to go drop back down through the um, through the thing. So we're going to be using Infusion Crystals, which means Diamonds, some Inferium Essence and Prosperity Shards, which we have everything of, I think. So let's just see if we do. Um, what was it called again? Infusion? Yeah, Infusion Crystal. Do we have everything for that? We do. So we can just craft that and create some with this Inferium Essence. However... It takes quite a lot of this infer of a lot of this essence to actually get this going. Remember, it's four going up for every level. So four, 16, 64 times, etc. every time we go up. So we need a way to make a lot of this because we don't have a lot right now. But we have uh, when this actually, there we go, we have 102. That's, that's not enough for even one of the top tier stuff. So we need some way of doing that. Now, previously, I think I've done that with an auto crafter. And let's see if there's an auto crafter. Uh, auto dash crafter, maybe? No. There's going to be some method of actually crafting. Uh, this isn't like automated crafting like, um, you know, applied logistics auto crafting or something like that. It's an actual block. Auto crafting table, maybe? Auto crafting table? Uh... Auto compressor. Yeah, we'll get to that. Is there an auto crafter? Auto workbench. That may look promising. Hmm. I may have to craft a few of those to see one of them. But the idea is we set up the recipe and we just let it go. And uh, we just pour in more and more and more of the, uh, the, not the seeds, but the actual essence. To get started with that, though, we're going to have to get these seeds growing. And uh, I'm not going to need any more wheat for a while, so we can just immediately replace one with the other. And will you actually grow on dirt, or are you going to need something else? Whoops, that's under you. You will grow on dirt, it appears. Yep. And someone did say you don't, or don't actually need the, uh, the servos here as well, so I just want to just quickly make sure that's the case. I'm sure they are, right? Uh, they usually are. Let's just uh, get rid of both of you. And uh, let's put item duck there for now. We can use a faster mechanism or just put more in the chest once that's the case. But uh, it's got some bone meal and it's growing. Now that is Inferium seeds. All right, so Inferium, or Inferium seeds. Can we actually craft the higher tiers? Now how do we get those? Do we just upgrade <laughs> Insanium Essence? Is there any armor made with Insanium? Uh, well, there's insanium ingots. Uh, can I? No, I guess not. That's such a shame. I would like, I would like some insane armor. That would be great. Uh, anyway, uh, so that is tier six, tier five. So yeah, we can upgrade the seeds each time. And does that does the, doesn't tell me what the seed tier does, but I would assume it gives me more essence per tier. So we've probably got some kind of. Um, 
some kind of uh, what you might call it an incentive to upgrade these okay so we'll make another set of tiers and i have to have that i i i want i want that hi uh um why why, why don't we have the purple blue goggly eyes as well okay apart from the noise things are are just fine <laughs> Okay, so, oh, oh my, uh, back away for a second, and let's just get this some upgraded. So we're going to get that upgrade, oh, actually, no, no, we need to upgrade the next tier up, so I need to, it's around this, isn't it? Is it just four? Yes, it is. Uh, so we're going to need eight of this, and I've taken nine, but, yeah, no problem. Surround those around. Uh, some of the tier ones, and we get tier two. Okay, so let's see what this does. Uh, Prudentium Essence. That's a quest, and we'll pick up the quest reward shortly. In you go. Uh, tier two, please. Are you any faster? Mm, doesn't look like it. Maybe you're going to give us more. Um, why don't we just uh, take this off for a second? Because it does appear to be auto ejecting, which is exactly what we want. So, yep, see, there's nothing building up in here. And I swapped this out from cactus to uh, sugarcane. Very straightforward to do. Just make sure that I'm going to be able to make get some uh, sugar. Okay. We're getting two a time, it looks like. All right. So we can let that build up for a little while. I'm just going to put this back on here while we go and do other stuff. Just remember, you're going to want to start harvesting that stuff as soon as possible. So if you've got a cloche going, start one up and maybe craft more cloches. Now, the other thing I wanted to get going at some point soon is Deep Dark Portal um, and the Mining Portal. Deep Dark Portal actually requires a fair amount of crafting, <laughs> or rather a fair amount of compressing, because it needs septuple compressed cobblestone and sextuple compressed cobblestone, which takes an awful lot of cobble. That's 4,782,000 blocks. Yeah, so we're going to want some way of automatically compressing stuff. So let's just take a look. Compressor, and uh, we've got a few of those. Osmium compressor, no, not the industrial craft two. Um, there is a an auto compressor from X Compressium, and it's very very cheap to make. So let's see how. Well, I'll just I'll just create create one of those, <laughs> and let's go and see. I've got that. Um, I've got that cobble gen, haven't I? And that does make cobblestone quite fast, but probably not fast enough for our needs. However, given it's around, I think I may have moved it. I think I've reused it in here. I think it's at the top of this chain. Did I put you in here? I did put you in there. Ugh. Okay, I'll leave that there because I want to keep that going. Um, so let's just look at the quest book because there are better um, tiers of cobblestone gen we didn't get to. Tier 4s, uh, I assume Tier 4 is going to need blazes at some point. Tier 5s are going to be emerald, and then we've got the deep dark portal at the bottom. So it's kind of telling us to get to Tier 5 and then think about um, getting the deep dark portal. The other one on the other side is the mining dimension. So for that, I think we need the mine tool. Uh, mining tool. Yep, there it is. And again, that needs quintuple compressed cobblestone. Okay, so we are going to need to build compressors and uh, cobble gen. So I'm just going to go and get the cobble gen created. I've done it before, so I'm not going to do it on camera. And we'll come back and maybe that's built up enough for us to move tiers. And in the meantime, I'll go and take a look what that tier gives us um, or what it does to the crops. Okay, so a little time later, and I've just been crafting various things. I've got this compressor down here, an auto compressor. It's being fed by cobblestone gen, and uh, I can just take this stuff out of here and put it back in, and it will try and compress it up to the maximum it can do. We will probably speed that up. It's just I don't have the... Uh, in fact, ooh, I, oh, I actually do have the blaze rods. Um, yeah, let's just grab that for a second because I built this compactor, which is thermal expansion, which we can compact blaze powders, and uh, we can use that to upgrade the cobblestone generator. So let's pop that back in the system. Close you off cobblestone. Gen, uh, we want the tier four. And we probably want to take it into our inventory for a second, just for it to get picked up by the quest. Yep. And then we're gonna put it back and do the same thing. 
Uh, whoops. Don't right click. Cobblestone gen. And that's the tier five. And tier five. So we've got a faster cobblestone gen now. This is the fastest one we've got in the pack. So let's see how. Wow. That's faster. Yeah, we may want to think about some kind of loop around this system. Um, that's something to think about pretty soon. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it just yet. Uh, I did also craft a ender pouch. This ender pouch is leaving white, 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 which means if I want to put anything back into the system, remember that's our original input into the system. So I can just right, right click it and put anything I want back into my AE2 system from wherever I am. Good. Now, um, I did also craft the Inferium Seeds, and we went up some tiers just by doing it manually. Tier 2 I've got here. You'll see I've got some Inferium Essence here, and I'm just going to take some out of the system now. And I'm going to put a couple of stacks back, just in case I need it for miscellaneous stuff. And I've expanded our cloches, so now the water is being sent into all of these. Uh, this one is still Tier 2, as is this one, but this one is Tier 4. And as far as I understand, it's how many actual um, essences you get out every time it actually farms. And we're out of bone meal. So I just want to um, add some bone meal. We can get more out of our main mob farm. I just want to make sure that that particular tier four seed has bone meal. It'll only apply once it gets to the bottom of this gauge, but uh, that is fine. And just another tip, if you wanted to get a lot quickly, get your Wand of Acceleration, and uh, you can use the Equals key just to change it to its fastest mode. Shift, right-click, and that will start making stuff. You can see the IF power cycling in the tooltip at the top of the screen, and that is generating quite a lot. You'll find hundreds. However, well, I'm not going to worry about that too much, because I've got some more item ducts here and it's going up to a crafter. That was the item I was trying to think of the name of. I thought it was also crafter. It's just crafter from RF Tools. I've taken it to tier three and you can see in here, all you basically do is you click on an S, uh, a spot here, tell it what the recipes you want. And in this case, set it all an internal. <clears throat> and then the same thing for all the others. And uh, once you start getting it some piled up, Use these two slots. Forget just just remove these reserved spaces. Remember, remembers the spaces so that uh, it always holds open a slot available for each essence type. It's quite important as you go up there. Um, however, the infusion crystal will get used up until you get a master infusion crystal. So that has this weird thing where it's reserving a crystal space, but that's for the crystal that isn't damaged whereas this one is damaged. You can repair it in an anvil, and of course we do have a powered anvil, so it does work quite well. And you'll see we've now got Superior Essence building up, so every time Inferium comes in, it crafts the Prudentium into Intermedium and into Superium. So, uh, how much further do we have to go? Superium Essence? All right, and uh, what can we, can we convert that directly to Supremium? Yes, we can, so four to one. And what we will probably want is a Master Infusion Stone, just to, uh, yeah, just to keep that going, which means we want four Supremium, which means 16 Superium. How many have we got? 10. Okay. So what I need to do then, and just to make everything like uh, move along a little bit faster, is we probably want to disable uh, some of these recipes. What you can do is, instead of having internal, like it loops back and then it gets picked up by the next thing, you can select any of these to go to external by clicking on this, and it'll go into these slots, which you can pull out by another method. But um, what we we actually want the tier three in uh, Inferium, don't we? So Inferium, because we want to convert the other seeds up. Uh, so tier three, that requires the orange stuff. Okay which means what I probably want to do is set this one to external uh, and then apply. Okay, and then let's just put this stuff in and you can see this stuff can pops out, which we can then grab a tier two seed like this, go into our inventory, go to the crafting slot and then just circle. That's up to tier three. I don't think we have enough tier four to, to convert this back to tier four, but we put tier three back in, pop this back in here. And we are mostly done. Yeah, I need to change this back again. So this needs to go back to internal. 
and uh, we are fine. Okay, so this will continue to build up and we don't have to do all that much more about it. Once I get enough to get the Master Infusion Stone, I'll pop that back in. Then I don't have to worry about keep taking this out and repairing it. So I've got 760 uses left, but repairing doesn't take too long. But with Master Infusion Stone, hey, you've got the whole thing going. And how far are you already? <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, hmm. <laughs> That's not keeping up. <laughs> That's not even keeping up. Uh, let's just get some of that out of here and put some stuff in. I'm going to need something better than this, aren't I? Uh, wow, you are certainly not keeping up. Is there a faster version of an auto compressor? Rationing? Uh, you see, rationing normally means only one at once. But since it looks like an upgrade from this, um, why don't we try it? Oh, this is just so much. Oh. Uh, we can just put it in our, uh, actually, in our system. And it's just surrounding this with gold. So let's try it and let's see what that actually does. Also compress rationing. Okay, and let's see what that does. Let's put it back in, in place. Oh, that stuff at the back. There we go. Um, didn't seem to do anything more than what we originally did, I guess. Um, hmm. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe that is just what I was, I was talking about. It will deal with it. I could do a loop back, however, for this, just to make sure that it actually continues to work. Um, uh, we only have a few sides available. So I think what I'll do is probably take out this compactor. Grab it from the back, and then we'll consider just feeding back in to itself and seeing if that works. Um, or, in fact, we could probably just feed out and into the next compressor. I don't think they actually take all that much. But that means crafting quite a few of them. Uh, I think I have the leadstone flux anyway, uh, the flux duct to support that. So, if we wanted to do that, we'd just put it up here. and feed them upwards. Let's have a look at the compactors. Compactor. Um, unless they're not the compactor, the compressor. There we go. Unless any of you know of a better compressor, I'm more than happy to hear it if you do. Uh, certainly not a Newtonian compressor. That's what makes the Neutronium stuff. Uh, industrial craft new. Um, the mechanism stuff tends to be quite fast for, for the factory stuff, but that's generally not for uh, cobblestone. And I don't think we have anything else. No, no. OK, so I will just craft some more of those. OK, I've set up a uh, manual system here where everything just gets filtered through and I can just pop them in the next system. We'll sort out the automatic bit in just a second. Uh, this is actually refreshing far faster than this can actually even work, so there's no real problem there. If we pop in here then, I've made some extra pulverizers, that's where I'm going to get the resources from. Uh, let me just put that there for a second. I've now got the 16 superior essence, so... Uh, one, three, four, well, that well, doesn't actually matter because we can just do this. Uh, three, and uh, soup. Four. Okay, and then we can make the master infusion stone. Presumably. Yep, unlimited uses. Good. So we've got that quest, and that means I can put this back up here and pretty much not have to worry about it. Um, let's just forget the layout, put that in there, remember the layout, and then everything will just keep those slots. Uh, we do have to change the, probably change the recipes, however, because otherwise it will just not. Yeah, there we go. It just won't know what this in Master Infusion Stone is. So let's just get with you. Apply it, then we can get the next one up. And do this. And set this to internal and press apply. 
and now it will automatically make Supremium. And whenever we want any of the intermediaries, all we have to do is shut that recipe onto external, and then we can get it out of these slots here, or you know have them automatically done. I've got this infusion crystal here. Uh, there we go, master infusion stone. This infusion crystal you can pretty much throw away if you want to, but uh, just to show you and to demonstrate that it does work, here's my powered diamond anvil. And it's going to use up that power quite quickly, or at least it's but internal buffer, and you can see how fast it's repairing. Um, I can just leave that in there, to be honest. I don't have to go back. And indeed, I can recover you. Um, what are you sensing? You must be sensing just this stuff in here, I think. Yeah. So I'm just going to get rid of you for now. And I can reclaim that uh, flux point because we can use it elsewhere in the other room, which is what we are going to be doing. Now, I'm going to need some pulsating iron uh, because we're going to make ender IO conduits. And to do that, ooh, have I run out of dust in there? Yeah, I must have. Okay, let me just grab some more. Yep, <laughs> quite simple to grab dust, but we're going to need some other resources. So let's just load you in there. Now we're going to need clay, gravel, and sand, so we may as well set that up in our main um, A2 room. Uh, that'll be enough for now. I think what is actually need, it's the, uh, let's see, Ender Eye Conduit. I'm going to go for the item conduit, which is Conduit Binder, which is, yeah, clay, sand, and gravel. So we need the ball clay. So let's convert that down. Get most of a stack. And uh, we just need the gravel and the other stuff, which we can just make from pulverizers and, yeah, much slower <laughs> cobble gens. Okay, I quite like quite like this setup. I'm not sure how long it's going to take to get more of those Supremium Essences, however. Uh, how much do we need? So um, let's take a look. <clears throat> so for the, uh, the set bonus, we get Flight, which means I don't have to use this ring anymore, which I'm happy about if that's the case. And apparently you can put charms on to make this faster. So I was mainly aiming for it to be able to run around faster. So for that, we need Supremium Ingots, which is just two essences on top of the Supremium Ingots, which again is two essences. So we're going to need some of these as well as the, the top tier stuff. So once we get top tier stuff, we can shut that recipe down and then we'll start getting the next one down and then the next one down, etc. So that's uh, just something we should think about doing. Um, and then we need, uh, well, <laughs> seven of those plus an armor core. The armor cores are going to need nether stars, but we'll we'll get there as long as we get to the other stuff. So what else can this make? Anything useful? A Supremium watering can. <laughs> uh, maybe not so much, uh, but it does have uh, swords. Okay, 21 attack damage. What's my current sword attack damage? I don't feel if it's not, it's not that high. Uh, 13 attack damage, so it's already going to be better than that. Fine. Uh, where are we? Where are we? There we go. So the other tools is a pickaxe, an axe, and they all seem to be pretty much the same kind of uh, huge attack damage. Yeah. Well, else is the well, is the insanium, and the insanium, as I said before, can't really do anything. Well, at least not that I can see. Uh, what else have we got? Charm, Mining AoE, so these are the charms I was talking about. Uh, Supreme Boots, fine. Fine, what are the other charms? Reaping. So, reaping, yeah, sickles, yeah, we don't need that. Tilling, <laughs> I don't need that either. Shearing, well, I guess uh, mining radius 3x3 three three for mine tools. Attack AoE radius. Triple shot. And are the rest just tools? They look like just tools. Yeah. So, yeah. Is there a speed charm? Uh, mystical agriculture charm speed. Increase your movement speed applicable to leggings. What does that take to make? That only takes superior essence and sugar and a blank charm. And we can already make most of that. This is just a block of essence, so I need nine plus another four, so that's 13 of the superior stuff. Uh, but this then will apply to leggings, so we need to actually make something to actually put it into. Uh, what's the cyclic version? 
That's really easy to make. Hmm. One second, let's let's try that. <laughs> Speed charm. Okay, you're already on. Yeah, that's faster. Yeah, that's much faster. Okay, <laughs> we're still going to make the armor, mind you, but because uh, I don't want to keep, keep on all this stuff in my inventory, because it's going to an inventory slot every time I actually fill this. So we are going to continue making pulsating iron. I'm just going to now set up off camera the, um, uh, the equipment for making more resources. Okay, so resource generators are now set up. It's creating gravel, dirt, and this one will be sand once I create a couple more pulverizers. Uh, one quick note, by the way, if anyone knows, uh, sand mufflers from N uh, from uh, Extra Utilities 2 don't work with thermal expansion. Slightly annoying. <laughs> I really don't want this to be that loud. So if anyone knows of any way of silencing thermal expansion, other than going into the configs, then uh, yeah, I'm more than happy to hear that as well. Uh, where was I? So uh, yes, we want uh, some item conduits from Endryo. I've just made those. Um, they are not hard to make at all. I've made some conduit binder, which is just some pulsating iron, which is iron and ender pearls in a in a induction furnace. And conduit binder itself is as you've already seen. Uh, one of the other things we want to make with superior or supremium, by the way, is the ultimate furnaces. Um, at least one. And yeah, there we go. So efficiency 9,001%. Yes, that's right. It 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 is um, perhaps higher in some way than the 9,000. Um, <laughs> in any case, uh, the nether star is, uh, is also needed, but on the previous uh, tiers, you don't need the nether stars. So you can get to efficiency of 100%, etc., and uh, it is worth getting to the ultimate furnace. But again, we'll need a lot more uh, of the essence before we consider doing that. So in the meantime, we can just get some other stuff going. Uh, so the conduits then, uh, we're going to need the Yeta wrench. So what I did was put some steel and silicon in a uh, induction smelter. And that, whoops, produces electrical steel, which we can then use to make a Yeta wrench, which is what we use to configure Endryo conduits. There we go, Yeta wrench. So, let's get this set up. Uh, we can use thermal expansion, of course, uh, and their, their item conduits, but this tends to be faster. So let's just pop these in, uh, or at least I tend to be more familiar with these. They're, they're quite nice and configurable and don't require multiple tier. Well, maybe one, one tier, but uh, yeah, don't have to worry about it. There are upgrade things you can put in here. So if we click... We can sort of choose what's going on and someone's rearranged this interface since I last <laughs> used it. So I'll have to go on this. So what, what are we going to do? We're going to configure this just to do in pass-through mode, uh, not pass-through, sorry, into chain mode. So this is going to here, and this is going to here, and this is going to here. And you might think, oh, well, you have to configure this with all the actual, the items and filters. No, you don't. Ender End is, is quite nice with that kind of thing. In this case, uh, this one is defaulted fine. It's going to be on channel green, extract. And in this case, we're going to say, in this case, we're going to insert, not extract. And this is going to be on channel green. Now, uh, does that need a, a always active? I think it is always active. Yeah. Uh, there it is. So it's pulling stuff out and it's pushing them into this one. Okay. But we're going to also extract on this, but we're going to extract on channel brown. Okay. Now, you can set this up to self-feed, which will put stuff back in, but with the speed that this is going in, I don't want to do that. I want to keep them all separate. So, brown coming out. In this case, we're going to insert and extract. So, in this case, we're going to insert on brown, extract on blue, uh, insert on blue, extract on purple, and then insert on purple, extract on cyan, and finally, insert cyan. A lot faster than configuring filters. And now this should start. Yep, it is. It should start feeding upwards, triple compressed. And it's not got to quadruple or quintuple yet, but uh, it will get there. And uh, that we can just leave. It will take a, t uh, a certain amount of time. So it's worthwhile starting out. 
and have it going. Now, if anyone knows of any faster way of compressing stuff, um, yeah, let me know, other than just, you know, putting multiple of these together. So you can make a, a sort of uh, triangle shape whereby they all feed outwards and then into double, into triple, into quadruple, etc., and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not too interested in that. I just want to leave it going. Um, not that I'm going to particularly need the deep dark or the uh, mining dimension. I think we can get away without it, but uh, we should at least have them in the pack and be able to explore them. So having those available is a good first step. And that compactor is really kind of useful as well. Okay, so uh, we've got uh, our essences and mystical agriculture started. Uh, we've also continuing to get existing thing going. I think I've turned that off. Yes, I have, because we don't need that much more wheat now. I should probably t disable some of these and then upgrade the these. In fact, let's do that now. Let's upgrade that to uh, the next tier, which I think is just hopefully four of these. Or is it eight? I think it's eight. Yeah, that's annoying. <laughs> okay, no problem. We'll just wait for a few more of those, and uh, I'll do that between the episodes. So yeah, uh, that's starting to build up. As soon as I start upgrading each of these, of course, it's going to build up even more, and we can just expand this really quite easily. This water, this fluid pipe provides the water. The leadstone is at the top. It's connected to that flux point, and uh, we can just move this crafter around, really. I'm just not putting it into our AE2 system. Instead, just going straight into crafting. And unfortunately, that brings us to the end of this episode. We're just out of time, unfortunately. <laughs> I've just got a lot of stuff on the go. Uh, I'm going to do some more between the episodes. I'm going to replace these with the Ender IO fluid conduits, which uh, are not terribly hard to make. There are multiple types uh, for fluid, that is. Uh, I generally ignore the first type if I can and go, well, if, if I really can, go straight to end of fluid conduits. Uh, which deal with multiple liquids at once. There it goes. Allows multiple lift fluids to be transported on the same line. An instant fluid teleportation if we go to the others. Um, it just has a certain rate. So, uh, however, this just uses fused quartz or an upgraded version. And fused quartz. Uh, slightly annoying that I uh, need to get to the actual recipe page. Which is very hard when there are all these options, alloy smelter. So it's just nether quartz in an alloy smelter, which is fine. We've got pretty much infinite uh, nether quartz from our chickens, and we can then use that to make all of that. So I can go ahead and craft fluid conduits, get the witch water done. I'll show you that working at the next episode. It will just be because there's multiple uh, different fluids here. There is water in these lines, I assume, and we don't have any way for water. We could put an extra filter on here for like another drum for water or something. In fact, let me just do that now just to double check whether this is the actual problem. So let me just get a drum and a filter. Do we have a filter? I think I've got one in my backpack. Um, yes, I do. And some fluid duct. So we can see if this is the problem now and then just fix it later. Um, it'd be nice if there was a way place to put the drum. I'm going to put it up here. Yep, that's immediately filled with water. Okay, and you still haven't extracted, however, which water that is. But I don't think we even need the filter. Ah, in fact, yep, if I remove the filter, everything is just going to work. Anyway, because we've got two destinations. We've got a large drum of water, there was 18 buckets, and we've got 10 buckets, so I don't need to do anything else. Okay, so I guess I don't need those fluid conduits. Uh, one other thing, however, is that if you want an upgraded tank, there is the quantum tank, I think, and I'm not sure if this actually has a maximum, I presume it's like the 2 billion number. Uh, let's have a look, quantum tank, that is very, very cheap to make. And if you wanted a quantum tank, there we go. We got some quest rewards, so I'll finish off with the quests. Uh, just so that you can see lots of, you know, amazing quest rewards. <laughs> These are going to be terrible. <laughs> They're always, always terrible when, I, when I'm on a camera. Let's see. Um, power generation, no. Uh, a lot of mystical agriculture we can claim rewards for. 
And there we go. And infusion stone. Master infusion stone. And is there anything else? Uh, quantum tank, we just take that. Processor, we can take that. And that's it. Which means my inventory is probably full of loot chests. All right, uh, we can put everything into our system. So uh, let's get started. So let me just put my Yetta wrench away. All right, what are we going to get first? Loot chest. Upgrade speed. That's absolutely fine. Uh, Diamond furnace. Already got one. He's already got one. The Holy Grail. Um, yep. Yeah. I shouldn't quote Monty Python. Black Lotuses, they are good as well. And um, let's have a look. Oh, God, more of those. And then more of these. We're going to not need any of those. So let's put those away. Uh, Flask of Magma Skin, not going to need that. Growth Crystal, that's very useful. Um, uh, all that is slow growth. Sl slow growth? Hmm. Yeah. Uh, but we can use those to speed growth, I assume. Growth crystal. Growth crystal. Is that one I was thinking of? Crystal growth chamber? No. Tiny progressions. Growth crystal. Ah, tier two. And I just need some of the previous tiers to do that. Oh, well. So, well, that's no problem. Let's see what else we get. A chance pendant. No. Some more solar panels. Mm, don't care much about those. And an invar hammer. Okay, so pretty much everything that I got there, I don't really need. <laughs> Which, it doesn't surprise me, let, let me put it that way. But uh, it might be nice occasionally to have something that actually works. Um, fine. The other thing I was going to make off camera as well that I'm going to do between the episodes is just some uh, of the conduit, the um, the power conduit. And this just takes conductive iron and that more of that binder. Conductive iron is uh, well not the essence we want the induction smelter version yeah it's just redstone and iron so to get more redstone i'm going to make more redstone essence and that comes from redstone seeds which we can get uh from crafting seeds and the essence and some redstone alloy so we need to make crafting seeds which we already have all of the ingredients for all of those. So I'll make those off camera and I'll install them in one of our cloches. I may even put a separate range there. Uh, maybe we do redstone and glowstone and stuff. But since we don't need too much of these anyway, I think I'll just put them in this side and it will feed straight back into our system. Uh, alternatively, with it being redstone essence, I think the only thing you can actually, well, you can put it into redstone alloy ingot, uh, but we should be able to make it. Can we not make... If redstone seeds actually produce, um, oh, hang on, that's redstone alloy essence. Yeah, redstone essence just makes redstone. So we can probably think about auto compacting it somewhere. Um, an auto compactor will convert that from into a three by three and then into redstone and then into our system. So yeah, got to think about that. I'll do it between the off camera anyway. So hopefully you enjoyed this episode. We've got lots of stuff done. Auto compressing stuff now. We've got compressing into blaze rods. We've got induction smelter going automatic uh, research generation essences in all in the same episode. Uh, next episode, I may well think of either another mob farm or we'll get further on into mystical agriculture and see where we get to. Hope you've enjoyed it. Feel free to like it if you have. And we'll see you next episode for some more Stoneblock. As always, guys, thanks for watching.